Resolution was another area that changed dramatically with the digital revolution. Television for years was limited by the way that ray tube technology that kept everything in a standard definition format. We're shooting a series in 4K. If we shot it in standard definition, it would look like this. Maybe more flattering. Films we watch on the screen though were in high definition photographic quality. The difference in quality was huge. Don't forget the TV sound definition was only 640 by 480 lines or pixels. Then we had HD. Initially in 720p, and still actually most broadcasts are 720p, that's 1280 by 720. And then full HD, which is 1920 by 1080. Much better, beautiful. The difference was night and day better. When I first started shooting HD, even though none of my TV shows that I shot for were HD, it was incredible. It was wonderful to really see things which were in focus and the detail, it brought everything to life. And 1080p, even today, is still terrific. Most screens are 1080p or 2K, which is a little bit wider. And the video cameras that were made to follow this meant a huge leap in quality, way less forgiving, and much more data was being created. We're now in the age of 4K resolution, which brings us even bigger. Pin sharp images, if you get it in focus, and even larger data needs. High resolutions are of course possible and very much with us already. Whether we need them or not, that's a different debate. 6K has been brought in to match 75 millimeter film stock, even 8K and 12K are coming along, but for the vast majority, 2K or 1080p is more than enough. My parents have a 4K TV. You know what they watch on that? They watch standard definition. We shoot a lot in 4K, but the vast majority of video is still watched in high definition, apart from what my parents watch. This gives us a great choice in reframing our footage in our editing software. We'll look at this in much more detail in a future episode.